Okay, so this is a look inspired by the John Galliano Spring Summer 2011 catwalk looks. Okay, I'm starting with Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. Just because I know not not everyone's a big fan of eyeshadow primers, but I do find that I get creasing if I don't use one. I've already muted out my brows a bit with concealer because I want to draw them back in. Okay, flat brush and naked pigment from the naked palette. Just gonna apply that all over the lid and quite far up towards the brow. quite high in here in the inner corner all along. Almost completely up to the brow, leaving just a little bit of space. I also want to bring that underneath as well. Other side of that same brush and in with Virgin. Just underneath the brow, just a little bit. Go back in with the naked a bit, just below there. And with the blending brush, just blend up. Okay, smaller blending brush and done a little bit of dark horse. Tip it off and just in the outer corner there. Blend and smoke. So this is another reason why I find it hard to talk on videos because I kind of like going to make up zone and I don't I can't explain what I'm doing. Just, just kind of get on with it. I find it really difficult to talk while I'm doing it. And also I feel like an idiot. Okay, I feel like I've missed something. I don't think so. Okay. I laying a pencil in a dark grey. This is Prestige in steel. Just line along the bottom starting from the inner corner. I 
I edit out so much when I'm doing things like this that I end up just like this, or like this. And as you probably noticed, even the stuff that is left in the video, you can barely see what I'm doing because it's really I can't because I'm using my flip cam. I can't see what is actually in shot, and it's really difficult to get the angle right. Or I'm doing it like this, and I think the camera's the mirror's not in the way, and then I find out nope, the mirror's in the way. bottom there, maybe a third of the way in. This is a base with a silver. Pencil brush and gun metal. Just along over where I've just put that pencil. I'm smudging it out a little bit. And a different pencil brush, a clean one, this isn't clean because I used it on the other eye, but one without the silver on it. Back in with Naked. And along underneath, coming in from the other side. And then a little bit underneath the gunmetal. I'm going to do my eyebrows first before anything else. Okay, as I say, I've, um, if you look at the pictures of the models, they haven't completely blocked out their brows, but I think they have concealed them a bit, so that's what I've done. I've unmuted out my brow a bit with some concealer. Um, and now I'm going to go in with a, an angled brush and dark horse, or any dark brown, which is quite a lot darker than my usual brow colour. And I'm just going to put that in a thin line right across the top of my natural brow. Extend it out just a little bit, just here. Yeah, that one hasn't worked out as well as the other one, but it'll do. Okay, line the waterline in black. Any black pencil will do, whatever works. This bourgeois one's the only one I've ever found that actually stays in my waterline for more than five seconds. Which is why it's so little, because <laughs> I use it so much. And on the top. Okay, the models didn't have much blush on at all, just the tiniest, just a little bit of pink, so I'm using Benefit Bose, blah, blah, blah. So I'm using Benefit Posy Tint, and then there goes the mascara. Okay, I'm going to go and clean that, clean that up, and probably sort out the, the eyebrow as well, and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. Fix the mascara and the brows and you can see my slightly weird brows because that one's higher than the other one and that one's I noticed the other week that that eyebrow is considerably darker than the other one which is a bit weird and also it means that that one's still darker because I can't conceal it as much um okay so back to posy tint just a little bit on each cheek Lips. The models have really, really dark lips in the pictures. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the darkest lip liner I have, which is a Berry M1 in 9. Lipstick. This is just a Miss Sporty one in Kiss Me. And then this Benefit lip gloss in um, Who Does Your Work? Never see. I edit out so much that <laughs> that sucked. Okay, so this is my look inspired by John Gallagher. <laughs> Trying desperately not to pull mascara face. <laughs> I'll get it everywhere because I am the queen of getting mascara everywhere. <sighs> okay, so this is a look inspired by the John Gilk. Okay, so this is a look in. <laughs>